So to continue the conversation this morning, we have Common Council President Ashanti Hamilton. Now, the Cleveland model has shown that it was not only possible, but that it was successful. You were a part of the council five years ago when a delegation went to Cleveland. Tell me what happened then to now where that idea just kind of petered away and now we're seeing more momentum. Well, I, I think things have to align. Um, and, I, and I think there's been some push in the city uh, for the cooperative model. Is that, are um, you so fair to say timing? Yeah, or well, alignment? Uh, alignment is timing. Um, so I think a lot of things need to fall in place in order for something like this to work. Um, I don't want to uh, uh, underestimate the um, the work that has been done. I mean, you know, we, we do have a uh, Milwaukee Job Works program with uh, Bill Krugler, and they've been pushing this cooperative model, trying to tr uh, train mm -hmm. people in, in neighborhoods. Uh, the question is scale, um, and do we have the right partners at the table in order to scale this up, uh, in order to have the impact that James Causey was talking mm -hmm. about? All right, you raised the question. Do you have the right partners? Are they at the table right now? Right, so what, what I would say is that there are a number of discussions that's happening right now in order to ensure that partnership. Mm -hmm. um, if you take a look at the MKE United um, push right now with the, uh, that's being led by the Greater Milwaukee um, Foundation and, and, and bringing together some of the corporate uh, folks that's necessary in order to have that, uh, the type of investment that, that's necessary that you see in the, in the Cleveland model. Um, we would need those folks at the table making the investments in those neighborhoods. Um, we need to be able to have a, a, a targeted approach to be able to identify the neighborhoods within the city that need that type of investment. And so in order to be able to do that, all of those people need to be at the table and make the commitment to the effort. So just give us an idea. What happened earlier this week that, again, is pushing this model forward? So uh, one of the things is that uh, Alderman Don Donovan threw this on the table. Um, so. One of the things is, is being able to uh, approach this with a economic strategy that's targeted, um, that we are identifying this along with other strategies that are being used in those same neighborhoods. And so I think that once we start having the discussion about a specific strategy uh -huh. that can be implemented, that can have the impact, um, then we have something that people can kind of um, But who takes charge around. of that, the council or a private partner? Well, I think what, what, what we, we got to have all three at the mm -hmm. table. Okay, right? understandable. So we, we have to have the, the corporate community that are, that, that's there. You have to have the municipality that's there because I think at the, at, on the front end, we have to have that municipal investment. Mm -hmm. um, and then you really need to have the buy-in from the community because that's, um, that's what makes this sustainable. And so Pres President Hamilton, you and I have had this discussion about the tale of two cities in Milwaukee and that no longer can it exist. Now we're seeing great growth in downtown Milwaukee, a lot of things going mm -hmm. on, but do you see this as one of those keys that can really break the uh, concern about poverty and the lack of housing or ownership of housing in the central city? Does this get you where you want to go? Uh, I think it's one of the strategies that can be employed. Um, I, you know, one of the things that's important is to recognize that, you know, not, it's, it's, it's not one single mm -hmm. type of um, um, push that's going to get this done. The, the question is being able to, to take this strategy in particular, because I think it's a model that works. Mm -hmm. Do you uh, like the model? Did you like what you saw and what you see in, no, in uh, Cleveland? Cleveland? Yeah, I, I, I like this model. Uh -huh. um, I like the cooperative strategy of kind of sharing the wealth across the board. Mm -hmm. um, I think the way that, um, that James Causey kind of told the story mm -hmm. uh, helps put this in perspective. And so once we get to a point where we're actually um, employing these and then we're doing them in a way where we're also taking into consideration the home ownership, yep. mm -hmm. the public safety that's happening in neighborhoods, mm -hmm. um, and then mixing the type of uh, um, opportunities that can happen, you know, not just from the co-op, but also from other types of ownership in the community. And when you talk about this, Charles, this tale of two cities, it really comes down to access and affordability. Mm -hmm. So when you provide people with access to good paying jobs, you also then instill in them a sense of pride. So now I'm making a good living that I can now provide for my family, Absolutely. enough that I can even purchase a home just like someone else on the other side of town, but also it's not a hand out. It really is a hand up and you have to have, I think, you have to have all people at the table yeah. willing to see that this is our problem. Well, and I think James pointed out in his article, a hand of hope. 
a hand mm -hmm. of hope. And that's exactly it because of, so when we're talking about ownership, right? right? So we're not just talking about an ownership in a business or just the ownership in a house. Mm -hmm. It is a ownership in the solution. And it's a personal ownership, ownership. Right, personal ownership ship Sorry. in the community, right? This is, this is our issue and this is our solution. Um, there is no, you know, we, we talk about these, you know, we use this term, you know, um, Superman coming to mm -hmm. save us, there's no Superman. Um, you know, in most communities, it's the community um, that creates the standard for what it is that they are going after. And, and, and that must be the same situation in this. We look forward to having you back and telling us about the next step. Okay. The first step that's been taken already. Absolutely. Thank you for coming, Council President. Thank you. Well, coming up on 411 Forward, how do we as a community foster civic engagement that actually produces positive results? We put that question to our next guest who is with a local foundation that is trying to make a difference.